talking about I'm big your back. I'm trying to big my back because I want my waist to look smaller. My oh, man, thank you to my man. I'm not gonna be eating them every day. the gym i need to get my energy drink my last little energy drink that i have and eat something you know when you wake up early you're not really hungry today is today but i need something because i'm gonna do a full body workout today because this is my third workout for the week and i'm proud of myself i have
have this, which is good, but I'm not, I don't want anything sweet right now. So then I'm gonna do some crackers. Do crackers. Because I have yoga, but that's sweet too. And I need to get my gym bag and my water bottle. I need to get my life together. So I got my gym bag. energy drink this is the sparkling white peach celsius and i washed my water bottle yesterday so it's in the dishwasher i'm very hectic because i'm supposed to be at the gym right now This is what you get when you contemplate going to the gym in the morning instead of just getting up a rushed workout. So my workout is not going to be long today because I'm already late. I did want to show you guys what we have planned this weekend. Well, I'm going to happy hour this weekend, but as y'all know, I'm having company over. I have a few packages that I want to unbox with you guys. You can see what this is. So I ordered some off of Amazon. I still have these. I'm trying to sell, but I'm ordered. <laughs> I ordered one for Amazon, and then yeah, these are my packages. Probably unbox the first two um, when I get back from the gym, but I'm not putting those two together probably till tomorrow. Alright, y'all, I'm back from the gym. This is crazy angle, but I stopped at HEB and got some things because we spent thirty dollars on lunch yesterday, and that's it. So I got these Trump Alfredo. I got two. And then I got two chicken Alfredos. These meals are the Mel Simple from HEB. And the shrimp one was $8. The chicken one was $5. So. And I got us some salads. Um, I got Josh's Caesar salad, chicken Caesar salad, and I got myself a cop salad. And then I got some watermelon, even though I don't care for seedless watermelon. I've been craving watermelon until I find someone who sells the whole watermelon that is seeded. This is what I got to work with. So... Yes, I am about to put this up. Oh, they have, I don't know, they have avocado in this. I'm about to put this up and then, yeah, go to work. And I'll pick you guys up later. All right, y'all, so I want to show you all the items that I got from Timu and Amazon. Timu will be first because why not? So I actually got another mic, so hopefully this works on my camera instead of my phone. I had the one for the phone, but I'm pretty sure I ordered the one for my camera, but let me check. Oh, this is how it looks. 
so this is the piece that I will put in my camera this is the actual mic and this is the charger part so hold on let me see if it's gonna work all right I don't think it's working so we gonna have to get like an actual mic but yeah I probably return it <laughs> it was like five dollars but I was thinking I'll we'll return it but anyway we got something else So I got these from Timu. They are little tea glasses. They're so cute, but I'm gonna use them as shot glasses, of course. And I could drink my espresso out of them, but they are so cute. They're so small, it came in a set of 10. Timu got me again, <laughs> but it's so cute. Look how cute it is. And then I could have them as my espresso and when I take shots. Yeah, no, I went on a tangent on my last vlog about sheets. So I ordered queen sheets for my guest rooms. They're both great. This is the brand. I'll have them linked below. They were on sale for like $18 and the original was like $26. So I didn't have to go to any stores. I just got from Amazon for Amazon Prime. And that's this is, this is the only thing I got for Prime because I ordered them bar stools prior to prime because i wanted them to come in this weekend and they literally came yesterday which was thursday so um yeah let's see how soft they are yeah they're soft so i'm gonna go ahead and wash these so i could have them on the beds this weekend yeah i got two i should have ordered a third one in white for our bedroom but we're going to see how after I wash them how they feel and I don't mind spending $26 for sheets. I feel like that's cheap compared to like the prices in stores for sheets these days because sheets are expensive. Expensive. I just want to have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just want to have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I, I, I just want to have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna have fun, clap my hands, turn around now and dance, dance, dance. I just wanna, I just wanna pop, pop, turn around, turn around, dance, dance, dance. I just wanna, I just wanna pop, pop, turn around, turn around, dance, dance, dance. I just wanna, I just wanna. Okay, y'all, happy Saturday. I am recovering because I went out, not went out, but we did happy hour. Then we went to our arcade last night, which was fine. I didn't even drink that much. What got me was the banana pudding shake from whataburger <laughs> i am lactose intolerant and i said i knew i set myself up for it even my husband was like i don't want to hit nothing in the morning <laughs> and i was like i saw it and i was like i gotta have it like it's like we ate at happy hour then we went to the arcade and then like we didn't eat at the arcade, so I was like still hungry and I wanted a Whataburger. And then when I saw, oh, they have a banana pudding shake, I have to try it. And I only got a small, yeah, was, I've been up since four o'clock this morning. I know it's TMI, but it's just like, yeah, the gym is not happening today. But I still have a lot, a, a lot of other things to do today. If I do go to the gym, it'll be later on this evening. But um, that's just letting me know somebody's by my camera. Um, Josh is actually outside pulling weeds and stuff. So he's been up doing that. And then I still have to do a lot of running. So my company is up in the air. We don't know if they're coming or not, but it's fine. I still have to do this stuff. I still have to go to Costco. I have clothes I need to donate to Goodwill. Someone was supposed to pick up the bar stools yesterday and then they was going to come later. But I was like, well, we're going to happy hour. Like we're meeting people for happy hour. So we can't do it. Um, so they're going to come today, this evening, supposed to be. 
this evening um to pick up these bar stools i'm actually gonna put our new bar stools together today i don't know if he still wants me to go get um he wants me to pick up a floating shelf from ikea for him for his office so i don't know if he wants me to still get that today um we barely have groceries because i was just waiting like closer to like when my family was supposed to come on monday to get groceries and we just been not eating out but like just eating what we have like you know we have food in the freezer just been eating the like food that we have already instead of like going to the grocery store and actually buying what we really want so um yeah and then we'll still do that it was just I was I wanted to wake up early and go to the gym, then go to Goodwill, then go to Costco. I have to go to Walmart and Dollar Tree. But most of the like the Walmart and Dollar Tree was gonna be like for my guest bathrooms. I was gonna get some more toothbrushes, toothpaste, mouthwash. I need more like small towels or um face towels, I think they're called. Like the you know y'all know what i'm talking about we want to get more of those for the guest bathrooms because i don't know what happened to them like i already washed those sheets yesterday i just have to put them on the bed if they come out i'm still gonna put them on the bed because i bought them sheets because we're probably gonna have guests throughout the year i want to get flowers for my vase um wash i throw um i throws like i throw blankets so it's like, I'm still moving like they're coming because it's already set in my mind, this is what I'm gonna do today. But I guess I'll just have like a, a clean house. I don't know, like, I don't know how to explain it, but I know I need to cook some breakfast. I ate some watermelon earlier, but I'm still hungry. But like, these are the two bags I'm bringing to Goodwill. I clean my closet out so much, like it's clean. The black lines are back. They're back. But I clean out my closet so much. Like if I, if I see a piece of item that I don't wear, I'm, I just take it out. But I think you could call it spring or summer cleaning. Um, I did the closets, they all the closets. Like it's not just clothes in there, it's like the core stuff too. So just gonna donate it to Goodwill. Even though Goodwill is gonna sell it for however much they sell stuff for. But you know. All right, y'all. So we got the bread. I'm not gonna fix his breakfast yet because I don't know when he's gonna come inside. So, and I'm hungry now. So this is H E B's sourdough bread. This is how it looks when it comes out. Excuse my bandaid. This is how it looks when it's come out. When I got my nail soaked off, this nail is very thin. So it's like, if I don't put something on it, they have like a, um, a slit like in the middle of my nail and it's, it's been nicking on things and I have a bad feeling it's gonna like split down my finger. So I've been trying to protect it with a Band-Aid until I'm able to probably put press on nails to, you know, to, to protect it. <laughs> This is how it's look. It's not that pretty today, but I'm starving and I'm about to eat this, make a coffee, and chill. It's like I'll chill until 10 o'clock and then I'll get dressed and head out. To my man. Thank you to my man. <laughs> that is in my head. To my man. I have ice and some white chocolate. Good old almond milk. Ooh. You would do about that much almond milk. We got some skinny Thai tea. You will do about that much skinny Thai tea. Thai tea. <laughs> We look we do about that much skinny chai tea. To my man, to my man. Okay, 
one shot of espresso. We'll just leave the foam out. Um, then I frothed some French vanilla creamer. Ooh. Isn't she sexy? Come do coffee. Come do coffee. Let me get a straw. I'm not gonna lie, y'all. It took me a while to get with the hype about these glass straws. They the shit. They clean easily. You can actually see in them. I mean, I still use my, my stainless steel ones, but the glass ones are the shit. Let's see. Mm. So this is my dirty. <laughs> I can't talk. This is my dirty chai latte. I am about to, like I said, sit down for like another 30 minutes. And then I'm going to get up. And then we go do what we need to do today. Because we're not being lazy today. Not today. All right, y'all, I am about to head out to the store. Well, I'm going to go well, drop that stuff off. I'm going to probably Sam's and Dollar Tree. I'm, I got confirmation that my family isn't coming, but I'm going to still probably go to Dollar Tree because I need like those, the bathroom trash can, um, trash bags. So I need stuff like that. So I'm already going to be out. I want to show you guys my outfit, but like, I don't know why my camera is so cropped in lately it's so weird but i have on this one piece from old navy don't mind the pudge so that's why i have this jean jacket i mean this jean shirt it's my husband's but i have it over i have on my shoes and that will be like my outfit run today hopefully i'm inside before it gets to the the 102s but I hate this for me. I hate the fact that this camera is cropped like this. Like, I've been messing around with setting so much. I feel like it's so close. But this is fine right now. But I've been loving my hair lately. Ever since I got it trimmed and stuff, it's just been flourishing. So, I don't know if I'm going to get braids for the rest of the year. I'm not sure. Braids are so convenient. But I think they're not good for my hair. Like, the braids itself is good for hair. I think what's ruined my ends is, like, when they dip the braid, I guess. I don't know why they dip the braid. I'm not going to pretend like I do hair. But when they dip the braid, I feel like my ends are always, like, raggedy after I get um, braids. It's like, yeah, it's a good protective style. But, like, that heat, I guess that heat from that, like, boiling water is not good for my ends. So... My, my hair has been flourishing and I've been loving it. So I've been, I'm going to wear like this. I do want to get, um, what's it called? A hoodie dryer. Cause I, I want to try my hand on perm rods or flexi rods. I think perm rods. I want to try my hand on perm rods and see how that goes with my hair. But we shall see. I have. I have the actual, what's it called? The, the rollers. I just need the dryer to dry my hair. Like that's something I can't air dry, but we about to pack this car up and run some errands on this Saturday. Trust me, I want to lay back down cause I'm, I'm feeling really low on energy, but I don't want to waste tomorrow having to run around and do stuff. So we're going to just try to get everything done today. Get some little, get groceries, get paper towels, get paper plates. Like, you know, get all that type of stuff that we can have. And I like buying them in bulk because you don't have to worry about it <laughs> until you run out. Like, we ran out. So I feel like my outfit is cute and comfy. 
and I am going to head out. I'm going to head out before it gets super, super hot outside and it'd be like unbearable to do anything. So I'm not taking my camera, so if I vlog, I'm gonna vlog from my phone. So I will just talk to you guys a little later when I'm doing something that's fun, I guess, which won't be anything because I don't think I'm doing anything fun today. Y'all, I'm obsessed with my hair. Like, if my hair could just be like this and I remember to twist it at night, girl. Hey guys, so I wanted to show you guys what I got from the store. I went to Sam's earlier, but those groceries are put away and done with. So I didn't do a Sam's haul because when I left the store, I was tired. But now I got a little bit more energy and I stopped at Target and I also stopped at Dollar Tree and got a couple of things. So I'm going to do Target first. I've been in Florence and I wanted to try this. So I got this one. It's the, the Brightener Vitamin C Body Wash. It gently cleanses, exfoliates, and brightens for radiant looking skin. So hopefully this is it's very orangey. <laughs> it's very citrusy, but it's okay. I don't... I don't really care for like heavily scented body washes anyway, so this is fine. And I will let you guys know how it works. It was $13.99, so hopefully it makes a huge difference. And the second thing I got is this Vaseline lip treatment or lip, yeah, lip therapy. So it came in a two pack. I already put some on. Usually I like to wear this at night to protect my lips because I sleep with my mouth open, I guess. So I do this at night, so I ran out. So I got a two-pack, so I could have one in the office, one in the bathroom, just to have extra. And I still use my Summer Fridays. I just prefer putting this. This is like lighter on my lips at night, basically. And then from Dollar Tree... I got this bucket because I'm going to start doing my own pedicures, but that's for a whole nother vlog. Um, I got some foam cups because why not? Let's save a dish while we can. I got these um, hooks. I want to put them in the shower to see if they'll work to hold like our, um, our sponges and stuff like that and towels. So... I got, it comes through you with a dollar twenty-five, so hopefully it works. Um, I got two brushes because a three-pack of these two brushes were a dollar twenty-five each. So why not? I'm gonna put two in our guest bathrooms. I mean, one each. Put these in our guest bathrooms, and then put this. Not bad though, because I do use an electronic toothbrush, but sometimes I use manual, so. I saw these, and I had to get them. It's the Sour Patch Kids Watermelon. I'm not going to be eating them every day, because I, 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 like, stop eating candy, because this mouth hair is expensive, dentist-wise, so I am not gonna be eating a lot of it but when I saw it I had to get it so if I'm craving something sweet I'll just eat these and ever since I had braces I really stopped chewing gum so I became a mint girl so I got some mints I want to keep some of these like in my purse you know like old ladies do having mints in my purse have some of these in my purse so just got a pack of mints I got a digital thermometer because I can't find mine and sometimes I be wanting to take my temperature. Of course, I got some trash bags. These are the main reasons I went to get these little small trash bags for our bathroom. So I'm a, there's 40 for $1.25 and it's more convenient to put 
liners in your trash bag, trash cans, even though they're small, it's more convenient than to just dump it out. I got this toothpaste and this is for, I guess myself, I checked before I left and both of my guest bathrooms have toothpaste. But I saw this and I usually do the blue box of the Max Fresh. I usually do the blue box of the Max Fresh, but this time I'm going to do the Knockout. So it's mint fruit fusion and I guess it knocks out the bad taste in your mouth. And lastly, gloves to clean. Need these gloves to clean. But that's it. So that was my little haul today. I did every, not everything, because I, I didn't put the stools together and I'm still debating if I want to do that today or tomorrow. But my old bar stools are sold. They picked them up today and they're out my hair. So all I have to do is um, assemble the new bar stools. They'll probably be either later on today or tomorrow. And then that'll be done. And then I think the next thing on our list to sell is our dining table. Yep. And we held off on signing it because, of course, the doubles have a company. But we're going to see if, when, or if we're going to, well, we're going we're gonna to sell it. But when we're going to actually put it up for sale. Because I think. I think we decided on the dining table. I got to confirm. <laughs> but I think we really decided on the dining table. So hopefully those that update comes soon. And then we're, we pushed back our bedroom. So the bedroom's going to be way later on in the year. But we'll figure it out. I, I believe we found that bedroom set too. But we can look at more furniture places. But I... I believe we found our um, bedroom furniture as well. And yeah, I think that's all we're going to sell is our bed and dining table. I think that's it for selling for this year. I hope I don't have to sell anything else. <laughs> hope I don't have to sell anything else because hopefully I don't want to replace anything else. But yeah, I just want to give you guys that update. Um, Good morning, good morning, guys. It's another day in the vlog. I am about to head to the gym. But first, I'm going to put these last little dishes in the dishwasher. Start the dishwasher. I need to get a Celsius. So I did get the big pack or the bulk pack from Sam's yesterday. And it includes the tropical vibe. So I'm going to try this again today. And maybe it just don't taste like anything. So we don't see right now if this, if that last can was defected or it just don't taste like anything. Oh, that last can was definitely defected. Yes, because I'm about to pour it in a glass for y'all to see. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Last time that shit came out clear. I knew... Josh say, oh no, that just don't taste like anything. I knew I wasn't tripping. I am about to text him this right now. Mm. But y'all, y'all already know. Y'all see me in this gray shirt? This Nike hat? Y'all know where I'm going. It needs to be done. I caught myself twisting my hair like just on the sofa and without a mirror last night. So it, it is sticking up. It is sticking up, but it's fine. We don't go to the gym. I mean, sometimes the gym is a fashion. So I feel like if you feel good and you look good, you'll do good in a gym. But what, what they used to say, it's not a fashion show. They used to say that at work too. <laughs> Everywhere is a runway. 
that the bar stools are actually gone. I have to put those up. Bar stools are actually gone. And here are the bar stools here that I'm gonna attempt to put together today. Cause I wanna start utilizing my island space because I think one of the reasons why we hate our dining table, I mean, we get rid of it regardless cause it's glass. And secondly, it's glass and it's dirty and we actually eat at the table. So sometimes I'll stand up and eat dinner here because Sitting and standing is the equivalent to how high those bar stool was. I had no business ordering anything off of Amazon while doing the proper measurements. And I know now the difference between a counter stool and a bar stool. Bar stools are higher. They're about 30 inches. Counter stools are about 24 inches. And of course, they're shorter. When you learn better, you do better. So that's what we'll focus on. But yeah, I'm going to finish this. I probably need to eat something. I'm doing back today. I want to um, do full body twice a week. And then like a good back workout. Because I like, that's, first of all, back exercises are my favorite exercises. So that's why I like them. A lot, a lot of men think like a lot of women ex favorite exercises are legs. Like, that's true. That is true. Legs is probably a close second. But um, I love working on my back. And the back is really what makes you have that like small waist shape. So when I y'all if that say y'all wanna unbig your back, I'm trying to big my back because I want my waist to look smaller. And we're gonna try to do that. But this is really good. I knew that other one was defected. I knew it. I knew it. But yeah, I'm gonna finish this. Find me a little snack before the gym. I really don't want to drink a protein shake because it's just too many liquids for me. Like, I'm gonna have a protein shake, this, and then my water. So it's just too many liquids. I'm weird, I know, I just, it's just too many liquids. All right, y'all, so I am in the car, I had not a good not so good workout and the reasons why because i didn't properly feed my body before i ate like three crackers so i think i'm about to go to the store and get like bananas and just quick things i could eat that i would want to eat prior to me working out because this is not gonna work it's like i felt like i wasted my time because i know i wasn't lifting as much or doing as many reps because I didn't eat anything. <sighs> yeah, so I'm about to go to H-E-B really quickly and get, like, some stuff to have in the mornings. <coughs> Excuse me. Have in the mornings when I go to the gym to eat. Because some crackers ain't going to do it. And then it's like, I only, I said, oh, I'm going to eat crackers. I'm going to eat like five of them or ten of them. But I only eat three because then they dry. Like, <laughs> I need something else. I like muffins or something. I need something that will give me energy when I go to the gym in the morning while eating like a big, huge breakfast. Because I don't have the time to wake up in the morning, cook breakfast, and then wait 30 minutes to to work out like I can't I don't have the time in the morning for that um so I just need something I could just grab and go when we go to the gym but yeah that workout could have been way better and probably may work out I was drained so if you don't take anything from me take this Pop, properly fuel your body before you work out especially when you lift weights because that takes a lot of energy like a lot and i'm trying to focus on lifting heavier and then like lifting heavier and i'm trying to do this with was a tiktok training to failure and it wasn't working today so yeah um i am about to go to heb i want some flowers too and then I'm gonna cook. I mean, I got lamb chops from Sam's yesterday. So I'm gonna go do like the indoor grilled lamb chops. I wanna do some homemade mashed potatoes. 
and either like Brussels sprouts or broccolini. But I'm 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 leaning to Brussels sprouts. But I think I'm gonna do Brussels sprouts, homemade mashed potatoes. I'm trying to remember how to make them. I'm gonna look up a, a recipe on Pinterest, but get the things for that, and then we head home. And I want to do I want flowers this week because I threw out my flowers this week from two weeks ago they lasted a long time H-E-B got some good flowers like their floral department is so good my flowers usually last like two weeks two weeks two weeks to um two weeks and a half with them and it's just like and I probably have to replace the water like once and the only time I replace the water when I see it gets real low and then I just replace the water and I don't put the the food in Again, I only put the food in when I actually put, like, make the arrangement. So, I'm rambling. I'm just sitting in the car. Dreading going to H-E-B on a Sunday morning because we know that's when everybody shops. So. I had to take the head off because it's getting hot. I am about to put these stools together because I'm still in my gym clothes. I want to take a shower and relax. I don't want to have to take a shower and move around. If you know, I know. If you know, you know. But I'm about to put these stools together. I'm going to bring the boxes. Oh. 
I'm making a change today. The liquor been taking the pain away. I heard you was giving your chain away. That's kind of like giving your fame away. What's wrong with you? I sit in a box where the owners do. A boss is a road that I've grown into. I love you to death, but I told you the truth. I can't just be with you and only you. Yeah, I got one virtual, got one in that day is the only two, man. How many times have I shown and proved, man? How many nights I've been woke, swerving the potholes, not trying to fuck up the wheels on the road, okay? Funny how life goes, he thought he was sick, now we wiping his nose, okay? As soon as you give him your soul, you blow up and they say you're selling your soul, okay? They want my life exposed, they want to know about the highs and lows. Well, summer, all I did was rest, okay? And New Year's, all I did was stretch, okay? And Valentine's Day, I had sex, okay? We'll see what's about to happen next, okay? totally in love with it um I, I don't know what I'm going to do I'm gonna wait till Josh get home for him to see it I mean if he likes it it's cool but I think I like the square instead of the rectangle shape better it just looks I don't know it looks so small I mean I, I know it's gonna be shorter than our old ones but it's like this part is so small and even when i sit on it i feel like i'm my little my butt my big butt is hanging off but if i put them out some it looks better like that if i put them out some like as far as like the counter but i don't know I, I like the square ones were so big and it's just like when we sat on them i felt comfortable but maybe i just need to be get used to them I like the style of it because I like the, the basic, simple stuff, but I don't know. I don't know if I like the shape of the actual cushion, if you get what I'm saying. I'm going to insert a picture here where you guys could see like the square ones we used to have, but I don't I don't know. I'm going to wait till Josh get home. I mean, it wasn't that bad to put together, but I'm going to still wait till he get home to see if he likes some. If he likes some, decide we'll go keep them before I put all of these together. All right, y'all, come cook with me. I'm cooking lamb chops, mashed potatoes, and Brussels sprouts. So right here, I'm washing my potatoes really good, and I'm putting them in a pot. I have red potatoes and white potatoes. I like skin on my potatoes, so that's why I'm cooking them with the skin. And now I'm gonna boil them in the vegetable broth. This is what I have in my cabinet. I had it for a recipe that I thought I was gonna use, but I wound up not making that recipe, so. This came in really handy, so I was just making sure that they have enough liquid to cover just the tippity top of the potatoes. Alright, 
now I'm about to wash my Brussels sprouts. I got these from um, H-E-B. I'm cutting them in half for them to cook quicker. I just like them half or shaved. That's my preference. So I'm just cutting them in half before I cook them in the air fryer. Seasonings I'm using is hot honey, mesquite, salt and pepper, some red garlic that has jalapeno and I think garlic in it, I think. And then I'm gonna spray it with some avocado oil. If you didn't know, avocado oil have a high smoke point so that's why I like using it. It's, it's just healthier, I must say. to the seasons I use I love to use honey but in this case I'm using the hot honey because I know I love like sweet and spicy things and I think Brussels sprouts are one of those vegetables that have to be sweet and spicy the honey I'm gonna top it with this balsamic glaze it's from Trader Joe's I don't know what type of taste it gives but it gives trust me we will mix it all up and make sure it's every single last brussels sprout is covered with seasoning honey and glaze so here i am putting my brussels sprouts in the air fryer i use parchment paper because i feel like that is easier for them to slide off especially since i have that honey and that stickiness on it with aluminum foil i feel like it sticks to the aluminum foil so that's why i'm using parchment paper i'm actually trying to measure it out now because i don't want my parchment paper to burn in the air fryer So now I just spread them out and make sure they are flat. This is important for all of them to cook evenly. Um, my air fryer has a roast setting on there. So I'll, instead of using air fry, I'm doing air quotes like y'all can see me. <laughs> but instead of doing air fry, I do the roast feature and it makes a huge difference. I'll have the link to my air fryer below. So my potatoes are all boiled and soft. I have, I'm gonna add some heavy whipping cream. Please note, I did not take all the liquid out the pot. I just drained a little bit of the broth. So that's me trying to open up the heavy cream. So I'm gonna have heavy cream with the potatoes. What's mashed potatoes without mashing them? So I use my masher to mash the potatoes. I'm gonna tell you right now, I don't think those white potatoes was cooked all the way. I put my fork through them and it went through easy so I thought they were cooked, but those white potatoes were so hard to mash. But I'm gonna add more liquid as the time go on, more heavy whipping cream as the time go on to make them smoother.
So here I'm adding my seasonings. I'm going to use salt. If you do not salt any type of potato you have, what are you doing? So I'm going to use salt. I'm going to use a good amount of salt because I feel like potatoes are meant to be salty. I'm going to use some black pepper. I'm going to use some garlic powder. And then this Kerrygold's garlic and herb um, butter. So after all that seasoning in there, I'm going to mash everything up and mix it up and mash it until it's the consistency that I like. And now I'm gonna set up this smokeless grill, indoor grill. It's by Crew, I love Crew appliances. So now I'm just trying to plug it up and then I'm going to set it for 400 degrees. Right here I'm oiling the grill pan. I'm just making sure the oil covers the entire pan. And now I'm about to add my lamb chops. I seasoned my lamb chops with Tony's and then I marinated them with sweet teriyaki sauce um i believe the tonies and the sauce would bring out that sweet spicy taste that i like i just want to try to get a close-up of these grill marks i live for a good grill mark I did that. So here I already plated the mashed potatoes and brussels sprouts. I am about to garnish the mashed potatoes with parsley flakes. Free my people from parsley flakes on everything, but I do put them on my mashed potatoes. Just to give the presentation a look. And here is the final plate, brussels sprouts, mashed potatoes, and lamb chops. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave. Like, comment, and subscribe. And share. Bye.